Hey V people, uh, day two. I'm gonna try and be a little less nervous on camera than I was for the first video. Um, maybe the fact that I'm exhausted will sort of alleviate some of the nerves. Um, okay, so stereotypes today. Um, in terms of the stereotypes, I would say that I am a geek um, because I'm a shy introvert. I read some comic books, DC ones, not Marvel. I uh, actually got Wonder Woman right there. Um, I watch sort of cult geek TV shows. I just started Doctor Who, um, and I'm now starting to go from the beginning of this uh, run of shows, and I'm going to start from the beginning and probably fall even more in love with the show than I already am now, just having watched about two seasons. Uh, I watch Warehouse 13, Orphan Black, uh, X-Files, Firefly, and I love Nathan Fillion. Oh, I want to marry that man so bad. Um, I watch movies. I love movies. I talk about movies, read about movies, analyze them all the time. I'm really into pop culture, movie-wise. And... I don't know what else would really classify me as a geek, but it's something that's sort of developed over the last few years. I don't know if it's because as a kid I didn't watch a whole lot of TV and sort of sit in front of the TV. I was sort of always outside playing. I'm also, f I get some of the gay stereotypes. I definitely follow those. Uh, not consciously, but I definitely do. Aside from the like rainbow bracelet that I wear, that's by choice. Um, I, th I also fit, I think, a lot of the stereotypes of the typical Canadian. Um, I'm usually sort of quiet and very patriotic, but in a quieter way than the stereotypical American patriot. Um, I have a very self-deprecating sense of humor. I almost always make myself the butt of the joke. And I have more of a quick wit. I can think on my feet a lot more in terms of jokes, at least but more in terms of than just sitting talking to a camera about myself. But yeah, I think maybe that's the typical in American and British sort of influences on the, the country and our sense of humor. And I think I sort of fit that. And in terms of stereotypes being useful, I don't really think they are um, because they are the truthfulness in them it's sort of touch and go and it's very fluid in my opinion. You can fit a stereotype uh, in one way but not in another or in one situation you do and not the other. And I think that sort of goes for most people because we're very complex. Uh, we, t we do tend to, the, our core being is the same but depending on the situation we tend to show different aspects of ourselves. So yeah, um, I don't know what else I really can say about stereotypes. Uh, that's about it. So I don't think I was quite as nervous today doing this as I was for the first video. Um, maybe it's getting a little bit easier. So I'm going to sign off and I will see you lovely people tomorrow. Bye.